Question number 12. Figure 7 shows a uniform rod AB 2 meters long uh, and a mass of 1 kg. It is pivoted at, uh, at 0 0.5 meters from end A and balanced uh, horizontally by a string uh, attached 0 0.1 meters from the end B. So we have our diagram here. So this is where we have uh, a, a road of uh, 1 kg. 1 kg. Uh, and the pivot is 0 0.5. Uh, and we have a string that balances uh, the system, uh, which is pivoted, which is attached at 0 0.1 meters uh, B. So there is a force applied here. Uh, so this force is is uh, maintained by the string so that the string has the tension here we have tension because of the weight to balance this weight uh, pushing this one down uh, now determine the tension in the string uh, you take g is equals to 10 newtons per kg so what you say we do here is we say sum of clockwise moment is equals to sum of and clockwise moment and therefore since this is 1 kg in terms of newtons uh, that will be 10 newtons you multiply by 0 0.5 uh, uh, meters we convert uh, to newtons uh, so so that we have it, we have it in terms of uh, 10 uh, newtons per kg uh, then this is equals to uh, if you from here it is 0 0.5 uh, here it is 0 0.1 and our meet, our road is 2 meters so if you add 0 0.5 you add 0 0.1 you get 0 0.6 so 2 2 meters you subtract uh, 0 0.6 you'll be left with this is 4 uh, this is uh, 1 so here it is 1.4 1.4 that distance so we are going to use that length to determine the uh, clockwise movement uh, so this is equals to we say it is tension you multiply by 1.4 uh, so this means that t is equals to uh, 10 multiplied by 0 0.5 and you divide by 1.4 which when you use your calculator we should be able to get 3.57 newtons so the tension is 3.5 uh, 3.57 uh, newtons uh, that is holding the system at the equilibrium so that's how you do that and you get yourself two marks